In recent years, video games have become an important form of entertainment for people all over the world. Over 58% of Americans play video games, and the video game industry ranked over $20 billion in consumers in 2012. Because of its growing popularity, this hobby is becoming its own nuanced subculture, a forum where people compete for superiority, battle physical and mental challenges, and even earn fortunes all through virtual avatars. Today's guest will discuss these and other aspects of gamer culture, which he plans to report on in his independent documentary, American Gamer. The Humanities and Mass Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now, join our host, Lawrence Rosenfeld, to meet the next new director. Thank you for joining us in today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television program, a course that are directing, switching, controlling, audio, uh, operate, operating cameras, and acting as the talent for the first time to get. The d guests today you are about to meet are students who, while not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to get this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct four different projects this program will give them a chance to talk about themselves and the productions they have completed, and will give you the chance to get to the, know them better with their progress throughout the semester. Each guest today is a person who is already striving to join the ranks in the series directors by making independent documentary as an avid gamer in attempting to tell the stories and show the nuances of growing subculture. So, you're working on your own film project outside of the class. Tell me about that. Oh. Um, well, I just started making, uh, I've been making amateur films with a friend of mine for uh, two, two years now. And recently I started working on my own documentary. It's an independent film uh, about video the video game subculture. Uh, right now we're working with the very creative title of American Gamer, it's subject to change. But uh, we recently got back from a video game convention in Florida where uh, we got a lot of cool footage. And now I'm trying to get interviews with some local developers, uh, programmers who make games, uh, some voices in the community like Let's Players and Pro Gamers. And uh, I'm also trying to bring a scientific edge to the thing, to the film with uh, psychologists and sociologists. Uh, this is my first documentary and first full-length project, so I'm very excited. And why did you pick the topic of video game culture? Well, I've been, par it's been, par I've been part of the community uh, for a while. I've been playing games for a very long time. And uh, it's not just, um, a lot of people who aren't part of the community see video gamers as just ner fat nerds who sit, sit around playing COD all day and taking it way too seriously. And they're partially right, but there's a lot more nuance to it than just that. And there's a lot of very human stories that I want to tell. Some of the subtopics will be the impact of classic games like uh, Pac-Man, the rise of eSports, focusing primarily on League of Legends, as you can see here, uh, which has really taken off. We want to talk a lot about violence in video games as well, because that's a very important part of the culture, and it, has a serious, it causes some serious problems, and you know, it's, it's important to talk about. Uh, we also want to talk about user-generated content, stuff like Let's Plays, user-made levels, you know, some interesting stuff like that. This here is a Let's Play uh, from Achievement Hunter and some cool footage. Uh, I also want to talk a lot about the social aspects of gaming, particularly in my documentary. This is some footage that I got in Florida at, a, at the video game convention. Uh, a lot of people in costume, a lot of people talking about video games, buying stuff related to video games, and just, you know, generally having a good time. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Sounds very interesting. Yeah, it's Majora's Mask. He looks pretty awesome in his costume. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it was a lot of fun, and I, I'm hoping it's going to be a good project. Why did you decide to take the DB production course? Well, I've been passionate about film for a long time, and... I recently decided just last year that I wanted to try to make a career out of it. Uh, and I decided this was probably the best place to do it, uh, especially with the technical stuff like camera work, uh, editing, et cetera, et cetera, working the live studio like this. Uh, 
I really wanted to learn the pre-production steps to filmmaking, like screenwriting and storyboarding, because it's something that I can't really learn on my own, and it's difficult. It's tough stuff. So, yes. what were some most useful things you've learned in this course? Um, storyboarding was probably one of the most useful things I learned. It definitely helps cement the director's vision of what a scene will be as early on as the pre-production uh, side of making a movie, and. You know, it's pretty cool how how much work goes into it and how much thought and pressure for like someone even picks up a camera or chooses an actor. Uh, Avid and using field sh field shot sheets and paper edits was pretty cool as well, and it made me a lot more efficient in my editing. Uh, working the live studio with all the equipment was a lot of fun too. Got to try out a bunch of cool stuff like the switchboard and the audio board, and live directing has probably been one of my favorite things because it's it's uh, cool, but it's you gotta stay, keep your head under pressure, and you gotta use those preparatory and executive commands very well and very effectively, or else the entire show kind of falls apart. <laughs> yes, well, very interesting. Uh, tell us about some of the projects you've made, such as the student studies, the tea project, the orange project, and the winter project. Well, first I'll tell you about my uh, student studies project, uh, as seen here. Uh, here I learned how to use cut on the action, uh, clean entrance and clean exit techniques to make the editing look a lot smoother and have much better transitions. And I also used a lot of basic camera techniques and figuring out how to frame scenes and basic editing stuff like transitions and you know just putting everything together more, more than anything because I hadn't really used editing before so that was, that was cool. Uh, Next up is the teacup sequence. Here I learned a lot about the pre-production side of it. The, I put a lot of work into a shot list, making a good storyboard, and setting up a camera diagram of my kitchen. Uh, I worked with talent for the first time with my sister, who is a very talented actress, as I'm sure she would love me saying. Uh, I perfected con transitions and cut on the action here as well that I took from uh, the student studies. Next is my winter project, my nature in New England. Uh, the scene composition was the main focus of this project. Uh, I learned a lot trying to get simplicity, uh, uh, the rule of thirds, uh, working with depth of field. I also got a lot with uh, geometric shapes and lines of grace. Uh, once I figured out how to use the manual action on the thing, I worked with poor man's dissolves and zoom-ins, and this is also the first, oh. For my orange project, I perfected the pre-production side w by scouting for talent and locations. I took the organization skills from the teacup and the compositional, compositional skills from the winter project to convey meaning through a visual medium, and you know, it was a lot of fun, and it was also a lot of work, and trying to get some actors who didn't really know what they were doing. But it was cool. So this project was really great. Which one would you say is your best project? Uh, my best project is probably the Winter New England. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I kind of took a lot from the projects I'd done before, but I also you know, had a lot of fun because it was more free creative. and. Uh, once I figured out how to use the manual focus, I worked with the poor man's dissolve. Uh, I again used a lot of compositional rules like rule of thirds and lines and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I also used a lot of continuous zoom ins and zoom outs because I thought they looked really neat. Also, this is the first project where we used audio, so I practiced with audio lead ins and lead outs and crossfades, and I think that it turned out pretty well. I really like the music I, p I picked because I like classical music. so. I had a lot of fun with that. Yes. Um, yeah, there's some cool shots too. Yeah. Despite the frigid cold of winter. Captured it very well. Mm. I really like the cross star I got in this shot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun with that project. Yes, sounds like a lot of fun. Mm. So it sounds like during this course, you've learned a lot of things. And what was the most thing you've, what was the thing you thought was the most interesting and important 
you've learned during this course? Well, by far the most important skill that I learned was how to use Avid, because I hadn't really done it before. So it was, you know, it's kind of necessary in all parts of film. And uh, I plan to use it in my documentary, so hopefully that goes over well. And uh, I'm also hoping to find a career maybe in editing or a similar subject. Maybe not with Avid, but at least with Premiere or something. It's given me a good chance on what to do with editing. Also, the most fun I had, or the most interesting thing, was definitely in the live directing. Because, I, again, I, you've never seen it before unless you've been to a live studio, which most people haven't. And you know, it was really cool to work in the live production studio. And I had a lot of fun issuing commands to my underlings. So it was, it was cool. Yes. So today, we got to meet someone who I would like to thank our guest, Gavin, for joining us today. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Yes, it was a pleasure to have you. We um, hope you enjoyed meeting some of television's future directors, and we hope that you will continue to join us each week and watch our progress. Thank you, and have a good day. Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. This has been The New Directors, with your host, Lawrence. I am your announcer, Gabby. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community student production.